The meme-friendly shareholders have been asking Aaron Win Pounce in search of when the company would make a move to punish what it sees as an enemy assemblance of short sellers keeping the stock down. Quote, today we pounce was the rallying cry Aaron used in a series of tweets explaining the new preferred equity, saying the company, quote, broke out the 3D chessboard and got creative. Analysts saw the new issue as a security blanket and dry powder for more flexibility. But it seemed an open question of whether future conversions might make the move accre accretive or dilutive. And now this is in no way, shape or form a dilutive measure that AMC stock is doing as of right now. Your one AMC share still is the same percentage of the company as it was or as it will be after you receive your ape share and that is why the stock went up 20 percent on friday that is why i am so bullish about this next upcoming week and over the next couple of weeks now exactly why is that well as you guys already know i'm sure you have seen another video so we're not going to get very redundant here in this video but this exposes synthetic shares right we all know this if you own amc and you didn't get an ape share once august 22nd runs around well there's a bunch of synthetic shares that are confirmed like literally confirmed you would own shares that are illegal shares that are not supposed to be out there so hedge funds don't want that that's why they're going out and buying the stock at the same time the exposure in hedge funds portfolios to the sectors of the markets like technology that have been outperforming over the last couple of weeks is very very low the net exposure to technology is at its lowest level ever hedge funds don't want to own technology now if you've also been following the channel for a long time that you know the moas is not just about what happens with amc that's a factor of it yes and that's the most important factor but almost equally as important is how do hedge funds portfolios look if let's call it uh tiger global is down 50 percent in a year because they've made the wrong bets right well if amc starts to rally and they had a short position on amc it becomes a lot more of a i have to cover compared to should we cover on this short position right so that's the simplest way to boil it, boil it down and still 2022 has been a horrendous year for hedge funds and even though we have seen a bounce the point is that hedge funds are not exposed to it in the way that they should be. And actually what has been going on is retail investors have went out and bought the dip in technology stocks in the sector of the stock market that has been well outperforming your cyclicals, your consumer uh, staple stocks, right? Your Walmarts, those, those stocks that a lot of hedge funds like to buy during a recession or during high inflation that have not been performing quite the par as technology so what's actually happening right now is retail investors are in a much better place H hedge funds are in a really bad spot if they're in short positions on amc and i think you're getting close to a critical level in amc stock that if we break out above really could send it home for the short sellers or if you want to call it for the amc apes now let's go ahead and pull up the stock tracker let's talk about the possibility of a gamma squeeze for this upcoming week so what we have expiring august 12th is about fifty thousand calls in the money and for the first time in a long time you have more calls in the money than out of the money what also helped last week's rally was all of the short term options that people were buying on amc a lot of these options are very very short term and kind of closer to the money since we have rallied a lot now you also have 38,533 calls that are out of the money for this upcoming week so that's about 3.85 million shares that he that hedge funds market makers would have to buy if amc stock does continue to climb to the upside now i will say it's not about what is on the option chain right now that could fuel a gamma squeeze. Let's be very clear on that. The biggest thing that really affects a gamma squeeze is those short-term, those risky 
options because hear me out here let's say you go out and buy an amc option let's say it's 10 percent out the money expiring friday let's just say you pay 50 dollars for it right well the market makers they're not expecting amc or any other stock for that matter this can go for any other stock they're not expecting such a big move well if you buy those options for relatively cheap which options on amc are relatively cheap well, if the stock does go up 10%, well, shit, the market makers, then they have to go out and hedge a lot of shares. Well, if that happens across the board, if a lot of people are going out and buying options that expire on Friday, that expire just a couple weeks out, that are relatively cheap, your break evens are very low because of the low cost you're paying on those contracts. For an example, if you're buying a $25 call that expires this Friday, I'm just making up numbers here, we'll look at the actual option chain, but if you're buying a $25 call that expires this Friday in AMC, AMC sitting almost around $22, give or take uh, some change there. Let's say you bought that option for $25, right? Well, what's your actual break even on that? $25.25. 25 cents. Well, now let's say you go out and bought a October or November $25 call and that cost, let's call it $300. Well, your break even on that is $28. So the market makers wouldn't have to technically hedge out your options unless the stock went above $28 because that's where the hedge funds or the market makers would then lose money. Well, if you're buying options that are out of the money that are cheap expiring in a relatively short amount of time, well, the break even is going to be a lot lower and you can actually get a gamma squeeze a lot easier. Now, I'm not saying to do that. I don't own any options that expire over the next couple of weeks. I do own some September 16th $30 calls for AMC stock in which I did pay uh, over $100 for. They're currently up like 150%. So I don't necessarily think those are the options that I would go with this time around. But I do think there is a very, very big potential here that you might start to see a little bit of FOMO head into AMC and you might start to see more of those weekly options start to be placed. So even though there's not really a lot of option activity for this week on the option chain right now, if people start on Monday and Tuesday buying a lot of options that expire on Friday or even over the next couple of weeks that are cheap with a close to the money break even, well, that is what is going to fuel a gamma squeeze. And that is what I will be paying very, very close attention to. So there is that. On top of that, let's go over the, or the Ortex data with AMC stock. And let's talk about the options in the grand scope of things. We just talked about a potential gamma squeeze. And what do you see in August 12th, $24 call, August 12th, $17 call, August 12th, $22.50 call, August 12th, $23 call, August 12th, $20.50 20 call, September 16th, September or uh, August 19th, $30 call, August 19th, $29 call, August 5th, $20 call. That was a daily. August 12th, $21 call, August 12th, $16 call, August 19th, $20 put, August 12th, $18 call, August 12th, $23 call, August 5th, $13, and a lot of August 5th daily options came through right there, August 12th, $23.50, August 12th, $25 call, August 12th, $25 call, August 12th, $25 call, August 20. Uh, August 12th, $28 call. You guys get the idea. Hedge funds here, that's exactly what they are doing. So if we continue to see that short-term option trading mentality in AMC stock that continues, well, it could be very, very eventful and very exciting for anyone holding AMC or holding options in AMC. So there is that. Over the last week, you have seen 248 orders, totaling $20.64 million, positive order value of 50 Four percent. At the same time, you do have short interest at 18.4 percent, free flow out on loan 25 percent, shares out on loan 127.33 million, days to cover 2.99, cost borrow of 9.26, and 100 percent share utilization. You do have a cost borrow max at 12.51 percent, cost borrow average at 8.72 percent, and cost borrow minimum at 4.33 percent. So I think it's pretty clear to see that uh, the situation here could get quite explosive. 18.4 percent short interest. That's a big deal if you're you're talking about hedge funds being exposed on synthetic shares that is a massive reason to get out of your short position on top of just amc stock rallying because of any potential fomo any potential gamma squeeze that we will see so i'm very excited about all of that keep in mind the data that we do have coming out on wednesday you have cpi monday and tuesday you don't have anything like i said wednesday cpi 8 30 in the morning that's going to be the first thing that could possibly send a wrench in a lot of your 
technology stocks. If inflation comes in too high, that's going to, going to be a big problem. Now on Thursday, not as big of a catalyst, but you have PPI and that's producer price inflation and that's going to be important as well obviously if producers feel more inflation they pass that on to the end consumer which would be reflected in CPI in things like PCE now on Friday you have Michigan consumer sentiment preliminary survey for August that comes out at 10 o'clock in the morning and that's going to be very important as well we'll talk about that more the closer we do get to the actual day but that will affect a lot of things like the inverted yield curve the yield curve isn't for inverted i keep saying that in every video inverted inverted yield curve is inverted 40 basis points give me a break people are freaking out about five or ten basis points you're at 40 basis points and it actually says 41 basis points right now this is the steepest inversion you have seen by far since 1989 this is a pretty bad inversion guys 40 basis points and that means people are fearful about inflation remaining too high or economic growth slowing down over the next two years whereas they are going out and they are buying the 10-year bond because they expect inflation to come down over the next 10 years and they also uh, think economic growth will stabilize over the next 10 years so this is something you definitely want to watch closely as well as the fed rate monitor tool if you guys do not have this pulled up for yourself you definitely want to on thursday you had a 19 percent probability of a 75 basis point rate hike well now you're sitting at a 52 percent probability and that is because we had a stellar jobs report for july 528,000 jobs were added this was a net add to jobs a net add so not including people that got fired or went on you know unemployment anything like that net new jobs markets were expecting 258,000 uh so that was a big beat and that definitely says hey the fed you have enough room to keep raising for oblivion right so that is currently what is going on now more on a technical basis watch that support around the 200 day moving average if we do get some downside if not i think dude you're going to 30 40 50 dollars potentially uh by this week over the next couple of weeks if we do not. I don't think we have started to even see the FOMO. If you look at the uh, the actual volume here on AMC and just scroll out, I mean, you're at a fraction of the volume that we have even been at, even in March. I mean, you had way more volume in March. So I, I do think that you could continue to see some pretty massive upside here. And, you know, e even when the volume is lower, AMC stock can still rally a lot like a 15 percent uh green day july 7th on 62 million shares that trade hand so it doesn't necessarily have to see like you don't have to see volume continuing to increase to get the share price to go up now i wouldn't expect 20 percent days back to back to back but really we just need to get up there if we can get to 30 dollars per share and then see a hundred percent day boom you're virtually at new all-time highs for AMC stock. So that's a little bit of perspective. You just need to inch up there and then get a big day or two to get uh, you know, a really big event. And I don't think anyone's going to be there to bail out or help out hedge funds this time around. You you got to get out of your short positions uh, quicker this time around because capital is not cheap. You can't get it. Uh, you can't get a loan for 2% anymore. You, you just can't. No hedge fund's going to come bail you out. Citadel, not your friend anymore. They're, they're not going to help out their Melvin Capital buddies uh, this time around. So there is all of that. Just, just some of my thoughts on it. If we look at the actual option chain, this is something I'm uh, pretty pretty excited about. I do own a September 16th. I didn't get too fancy. I had just bought one of the uh, $30 calls, um, and this is not updated. They're actually much more expensive than that. Hmm. Yeah, so you guys can see I had bought the one call for about $95, uh, the $30 call. Um, 
and it's currently trading at about $213. So yes, it has went up a lot, but I do like a little bit more time here just to be safer rather than not. And I don't think it's a bad idea to hedge out your position, especially if you're going super bullish, if you're buying a lot of calls. Uh, it's not a bad idea to go out and buy like one put to offset that to hedge out some of the risk because if you do get the, mo the MOAS here, fine, cool. Your put expires worthless, your calls make a lot of money. If we don't and we get a short attack again for whatever reason, well, your calls might get crushed if you have a put that should in theory be getting a little bit cheaper as AMC stock is getting further you know higher getting further away from the money on the put side well that can help offset some of that risk so keep your risk management in line here i literally have two hundred dollars uh for this september uh 16th thirty dollar call i had bought a put for earnings sold out in the beginning of the day made some money on that made made some money on the the call as well if you guys want to come trade with me live in real time link down below in the description as well probably a good time uh to mention that if you guys want to be up on some of these trades uh this is like a 200 percent winning trade already but i think there is a lot more to come over the next couple of weeks so that is pretty much it guys we're above the 200 day moving average above the 100 day moving average the change of trend is definitely here and you can see it i think a lot of algorithms i think a lot of fomo might step back into the stock and the biggest thing of all i think this is something that people really overlook is that amc is like hotter than a down telephone pole or wire during a thunderstorm everyone knows about amc stock in the financial world when you're dealing with money that is very 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 powerful so you could see a lot of of attention you could see a lot of fomo that could come back into the stock i'm not sure if we'll get the same degree of june i'm not sure if it'll be am more amplified than that but i know that that is a very strong thing uh, compare this to something that nobody knows about it's very hard for a stock to short squeeze or go through a rally when nobody knows about it when nobody knows the thing exists or knows the trade there well amc everyone knows about the moas everyone knows about the trade with amc so i think now it's looking better than not so that's all i'm gonna say it looks like amc stock is going to go crazy in this upcoming week if not over the next couple of weeks i want to be fully invested in it I have been fully invested in it and congratulations to everyone that has con con continued to buy the dip, baby. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.